Hello, my name is Shane Tatum with Indiana Automotive Equipment, and I'm here with Tim Martin. And Tim's going to talk to us today about the sterile coating mobile columns. Tim, tell us a little bit about these mobiles. These are the wireless 24 volt uh, sterile coating mobile columns. These, this particular model is rated at 18,500 pounds per column. Uh, as you can see here, we got a bus on here. They're excellent for this type of work. Uh, a lot of bus garages will use them just for general maintenance, uh, inspections. They're, they're great for inspections. As you can see, we don't have any runways here like you would on a traditional heavy duty lift. So we can come in here and we have all kinds of light. We have, we have the ability to, to see everything. Uh, one, of the, one of the things that one of my customers have said is, you know, I had my technicians would roll under and fix just this one item. Well, now we have it up in the air and they're like, oh, well, I have a problem here. And you have the ability to look around. So just on the, a maintenance um, schedule, you're able to see a lot more uh, problems that you may have to eliminate downtime. Tim, how tall are you? I'm about 6'3". Six 6'3". Three. Six three. So Tim's 6'3", and you can just see the clearance that we've got underneath this bus. It just really, um, that we get a lot of technicians that are tall and they ask us, you know, hey, uh, I've worked and I've had to bend over and, and look underneath on some lifts. Um, and then we've got a lot of technicians that just work off the ground and, and uh, we'll take and demo these mobile columns and when we, we show up um, and show them, you know, what it's like to be able to not lay on the ground and work, but to lift something up in the air and be able to see um, underneath and stand straight up and work, it just, it, it changes things for them. And uh, uh, when it comes to, you know, their back and their knees being stressed, um, it really, makes a big difference in their work day of it being a, a quality day. Yeah. If you want to look at this here, Boaz, these columns have adjustable forks. Um, so we have the ability to adjust them down to do a wheel as small as, you know, like a lawnmower, a uh, 10 inch diameter rim on these. Um, the ideal when you are setting these lifts is you want the inside of these forks to be narrower than the widest part of that rim. So if we do have a a tire that goes low while we're working on this vehicle, um, it's still safe. So Tim, let's say you wanted to um, to take the wheel off. What do you do? Because it looks like you can't take the wheel off and, and maybe work on brakes or, or uh, work on a hub. Yeah, so we have some tall jack stands. Um, it's a tripod. They, they have spring-loaded casters. We have the ability just to roll them in here. Uh, we can raise it up to whatever height we need it to be. Uh, we can come over here to the column, and let's just say I want to uh, to work on this this wheel here. I have the ability to to work one column at a time, or I can work two at a time, or I can work all four at a time, just from the operation of this one one so location. You, so what you're saying is you can work in like a single mode, yeah, or so, or in pairs, correct? If, yeah, if you want to come in here. Um, you can see we have single, paired, and all mode. So all I have to do is touch the single, hit my check mark, and from here, I can raise just this one corner. So what do you do? Do you raise it up and then take and set the set it back down on a, what do you call that, a jack stand? Yep. And then what, roll the column away? Uh, so I set my jack stand at this time. And then I have the ability to slow slow down the column so it doesn't go real fast. Um, I just touch the lowering speed. I can lower it down to 25% uh, speed. And at this time, I just hit my lock button. And you can see how slow and controlled that bus comes down. So when we do hit a, a jack stand or something, it's not a, a real hard hit. So Tim, um Let's say if somebody walks up and, and uh, you know, is not uh, trained to use these columns, um, can they just jump right on and start using them or, or I mean, because it looks like that anybody could walk up and just start pushing buttons and that looks dangerous. Um, they could raise or lower it um, as far as if they're already linked together. If these columns are just sitting in the corner and they're not under a vehicle, we have an ID key that you go to each column. 
and that's how you link all four columns together. Um, and that, that's how you build the network um, that these will communicate together with. So they're wireless communication. They are they bat battery powered. These are 24 volt, uh, two 12 volt batteries located inside this cabin, wired in series at 24 volt. They have an onboard trickle charger. Uh, it's a real low amp drop. So here at our facility, we plug them all, all four of these into one power strip. So they're not not pulling very many amps. Yeah, they don't have to worry about GFIs popping or anything like that. So so how many how many times like if I don't plug these in, if they're charged up. How many times can I lift this bus, you think, up and down? I think Sterile Coney says 37 times on these. Um, I'm not, you know, I've never personally done it. <laughs> I've heard of stories where they do almost twice that. Okay. Um, and we're nowhere near the capacity of these columns, so I'm sure we'd have no problem with that. Okay, so 18.5, what is that, 70... 76,000. 76,000 pounds capacity, wow. With four, and we can link up to 32 of them together. Okay. So, and these columns start out at 14,000 pounds per column. Okay. Um, which gives you 56,000 pound capacity on a sub four, which is so that's typically all school, that's all school yeah, would need then probably. That's typically what we see in bus garages. One of the nice things about these columns here is your first lock is at six inches. So once that vehicle hits six inches off the ground it now has a safety lock versus the 14,000 pound, uh, you're around 16 inches of height before you hit the first lock. Okay, okay. Um, ALI certified? ALI certified, ETL certified. Great, great. Well, Tim, thank you. It was awesome to get to have you tell us about the columns and uh, uh, contact Indiana Automotive Equipment if you're interested. 1-800-359-2974 or you can contact us by email at info at iaequip.com. Thank you.